What's going on everybody? If you purchased the HP Tuners uh, MPVI2 when it first came out and you wanted to log wideband air fuel ratios, you probably went out and purchased the AEM X series wideband with CAN bus integration. Now this thing uses a OBD2 link link to this through your HP tuners to log air fuel ratios. Well, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of this by this HP Tuners Pro Link and the Pro Feature Set and upgrade instead of spending money on a new wideband. And this will be able to, this will give you the capabilities to record wideband air fuel ratios on vehicles older than 2007. Hey guys. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the HP Tuners Pro Link, the MPVI2, and how to make your AEM wideband with CAN bus work with the new HP Tuners Pro Link. And this might help clarify some people for some people that, that purchased the Pro Link here recently but got the MPVI2 and this back when this was the only wideband that you could use with the MPVI2. Uh, what we got here currently the AEM gauge I have now uses this CAN bus interface that goes between the two. This would plug into the OBD2 port, then the MPVI2 would plug into that. And that would give you your signal. Bad part about that, you're only doing it from 2007 and newer, and we want to get rid of that. How do we do that? On the back of your AEM Y band, you'll have a plug, and it'll look like this. All right. Now, if you have the 30-0300, uh, you're going to have this in your directions as well. We're going to be following this chart and using these two wires here to get our HP tuners to recognize our wideband. We're working on the top plug, and we're going to be using pin 9 and 10. Now, if you have the 30 the 30-0300, 0334 X series wideband with OBD CAN integration, then you're going to have this plug and you're going to have these wires here on pins 3 and 4. Notice 3 and 4 is your CAN high and CAN low. We're going to be getting rid of those on this pigtail. And we're going to be adding these. Now, you can reuse the wires that are already here. Then, if you have the 30-0334 X-Series wideband, you're going to see these two wires, the green and brown wire. Now, we don't need these wires anymore. Once we take these out and move over to the ProLink wires, this is how we're going to be hooking up to our MPVI2 all the time, no matter if it's a newer vehicle or older vehicle. Now, this isn't going to slow down your wideband uh, readings or anything. It's still going to be one of the fastest or the fastest on the market, so no... No worries there. We're just going to stop using it through the OBD2 port and we're going to be going straight to the MPVI2. So first thing you want to do, if you look on the back, let's see if we can get a good little shot. You got these small tabs here. Uh, we're going to take a small pick. Uh, all right, so we're just going to get up under that. Just enough where we can pull the pin out. Make sure that's sitting back down in there nice and tight or nice and where it needs to be so don't get in our way later all right so now we got the brown out we're going to flip it over and this is going to be the easy one to get to this one you're really going to want to see kind of give you a demonstration of how to get it out of there all right so we're just going to get our pick just up under it pick up slightly i might have to get my damn razor knife out if this ain't sharp enough there we go so it just picks up just a, just a little bit, right? So we're picking up, oh shit. Picking up just a little bit and it slides right out, okay? So now we could use these wires and just move them over and cut our OBD2 uh, port off. As you can see now, all I have is those two wires, the power and ground for the OB, or for the Y band. And this is completely separate now. I can move these wires 
reuse this nice sheath wire, which, you know, the more I think about it, the more I like it. Here we go. There we go. So now I got these three. This is the plug for the Y band. These are the two wires I pulled out and I'm gonna move over. And here we have the ProLink. Now in the ProLink, we're gonna be using the blue wire and the black wire. So right now with these, I'm gonna run this brown wire to pin 10 because that's what the color code already calls for. All right. Focus. See that small gap? You want to run it to the inside of the plug. And because the snaps are so small, you're not really going to hear it click, but just give it a good tug and you're good. Now the green wire, we're going to substitute for the white wire and that's going to be in pin nine. That's going to be our um, analog output. So now I'm going to take and strip this wire back. I know I just got a flat blade and there's people out there cringing right now. I've done it plenty of times. All right, so now we have our green and brown wire. Remember, pin 10 is gonna be our brown. That's our negative. Negative is gonna to go to black, so brown and black is gonna to go together. And in this case, the blue and green is going to go together. Alright guys, I know I don't have one of those fancy uh, screen recorders or whatever, but I'll try to get you some decent footage here and uh, see if we can't work work through this thing. Uh, I've already got it set up here um, in my scanner, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and remove that channel, remove channel, and I've got it down here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there because, I mean, once you get it set up here, getting it down there is not an issue. Uh, first off, you can go ahead and right click here and add channel, or you can come up here to the top. I just go ahead and uh, I use this one here and I add the channel. Um, also, before you get to this point, you need to make sure your, uh, your scanner is at the latest version. Go in here, go to the help, click about, and it's going to come up about getting an update. Uh, I'm not hooked to the internet right now, so my, it failed. But I am at the, the latest update. It's like 4.2.12, I think, is the latest update. Anyways, make sure you're updated to the last version, or this, this isn't going to work out for you anyways. Also, you got to have the Pro feature set and the Pro link for any of this to work. So uh, we're going to go ahead and add channel. Uh, if you look down here, you're going to have MPVI Pro and MPVI 2. Go ahead and click on or double click on MPVI 2 and then double click on ProLink. Now you're going to have uh, analog input 1 and 2. The blue wire we use is input 1. Go ahead and double click on that and it added the channel here to our channels list. Once you get to here, right click on that and we're going to have, we're going to go to transform. I want to transform this signal. Now here, here's the great thing, once you update to the latest software, um, double click air fuel ratio and you're going to see AEM 30 dash and then over here it's going to have uh, 30x0, 2340, 51, whatever. All you got to do is double click that, it, go ahead, it already sets up the parameters and if you go into like transform signal and stuff like that. It's going, let's show, see here, it already does the conversion and everything for you for the output. Um, everything's there. 
and it's 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 really simple with the new update they made it extremely simple